Guess what, everybody? No, it's not detergent day. We had a big fail. A big, big fail. The old GE has finally died. This is indeed the end of it. It had it. It's done. Basically, I put it on. Everything was working. And I got to the top of the steps, and I just kind of noticed that Something didn't sound quite right, but it was working and everything was fine. I didn't think much of it. And uh, when I came downstairs, I smelled the distinct smell of hot motor with uh, oil, uh, not burning, but certainly heated, on it. And uh, this is the symptom. So i got to put the camera down so I can put this in, um, what do you call it, service mode. Okay, so we're back in service mode. I did remember how to do that. Now, if I remember when I last did this, basically you would turn it, uh, you have a lamp check, then you had a model code, then you had an error code, and we have an error now, but I ain't even gonna bother looking that one up <coughs> because you'll see what the problem is. I mean, I already know what the problem is, but hot water. Cold water. Next is going to be low speed agitation, which I had rewired to high speed agitation, and just listen. You just hear a motor, but nothing happens. High speed agitation will do the same thing. Oh, I skipped that and went to drain, but we'll go back. Same thing again. Drain, spin. Well, it's still fucked. One more. Same thing. So most people would say that uh, the belt probably broke or slipped off or something like that. No, it is not to be. It is not to be. GE sucks. You have to remember that. Uh, as such, uh, the machine is... We've had this thing for... We've been here almost six years I've had to fix it almost yearly, and uh, it's just been a total piece of crap, but it's been running, and that's why we ended up with the whole laundromat and then the whole detergent and everything got totally dickered after that. But now I'm down a washing machine, it don't fucking work anymore. Uh, when I tested it initially, when I came down after the hot motor smell, uh, I put it right into spin mode and gave it a shot. And it did spin. It spun up just fine, but when you shut it off, there's supposed to be a braking action on the uh, laundry tub, and uh, that was no longer there. So when you shut it, it went from however fast it was spinning and took quite a while to spin down. Uh, then I put it over into agitation mode as such, and uh, the first try I just got that motor run, and I tried it a couple of more times and ended up uh, that uh, it actually did take a few strokes of agitation, but when it did that, I heard gears grinding and other uh, bad metallic sounds. And all three words, uh, all three uh, of the first letters of those words are capitalized. Bad metallic sounds. Uh, transmission died completely. It won't lock up and to go into spin anymore. It won't agitate. It won't do shit anymore. Um, I'm not even going to bother to try to fix the damn thing because it's, you know, it's, it's really, it's been on its last legs. And I'm going to make another video right after this explaining all of the problems that I've had with the machine over the years. So with that, uh, I now have to get this machine out of here and uh, put the other one which I have in the garage, which is in one of my old videos, uh, in here. And uh, they're all pretty much standard size, so it'll fit right in. And then I have to work on the drain for it because this drains a little bit differently from uh, other machines uh, where I didn't require an actual um, uh, air vent on it. But uh, the new machine being a whirlf whirlpool uh, like that one uh, will, uh, will require that. So I'll have to do a little plumbing on that end. As far as the water supply, everything's here. Nothing needs to be touched. The, the hoses for it are these actual braided ones in here and they just screw right on the back and of course the plug is over here yes I do have the water 
uh, transformer disconnected so I wouldn't get water in the machine. Uh, it will still drain out, fortunately, but uh, it doesn't matter anyway. And uh, that's going to be it. So uh, she's had it. That is the end of it. And, uh, you know, I guess really good riddance at this point because I was kind of getting tired of its bullshit. Anyway, I'll make another video and I'll explain exactly what it did.